news today? No. Yo, there's this dude in Florida. He was swimming and a shark bit off his left arm and leg. But they say he's all right now. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you came through. You gonna tell a joke? Yeah. How many men does it take to open up a beer? None. That shit should be open by the time she bring it to me. Hi, I'm Chris. Yo, 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 yo. Crack Sizzlack. ALMI. ACS. Life insurance. Protect your loved ones. Another episode of 420 Second Film Reviews. What did we watch? Uh, this week we watched Cryptic Plasm, directed by Brian Pauling. Movie out of Massachusetts. The homie Nate Levine came through was like, yo, got this crazy, gory ass fucking movie. Let's watch this shit. Put it in, press play, and pff, rest was history, yo. Yup. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to start the timer for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Do a phone review. Bong. What was it about? So, uh, main character is this dude, David. He's, uh, he's like some sort of paranormal investigator and shit. He catches a few things on film and... And he brings it to this dude. He's like some dude that's like financing, a, uh, like us. I don't know, films or, or TV shows or whatever. Um, the dude's like, "Wow, you got some great footage. Like, I'd like to send you out with, like, you know, a couple people out on the road to investigate some shit. We're gonna make like a, a series, like a TV series." Uh, dude's like, "Oh, word, yeah, I got this camera, man. So let's go." Um, he goes, hits the road, goes to three different places. One of them is like uh, this place in Massachusetts. Uh, it was like a lake where there was supposed to be some lake creature. Uh, he goes to this other spot that's like a town in, in New England somewhere that's like abandoned. Everybody disappeared at the same time. And uh, it's just some weird shit like that. And he goes to see the exorcism. Uh, the exorcism of some chick. Uh, basically, yo, this dude, when he goes to the spot in Massachusetts, the lake, uh, he's looking around and, and he catches some footage of this crazy little beast creature, you know what I'm saying, brings it back to the dude. Um, from there, he, he goes to that, to the town, yo, and he, he sees, uh, it's, it's weird, it's creepy, like, he's in the, he goes into a house because he sees, um, like, the, the, the shade move on the window and shit. Goes into the house, looks down the hallway and sees, like, himself but like walking like into a room and shit. He bugs out, runs, you know what I mean? And it's just creeped out, yo. He's, he's real bugged out in the head and shit. Um, from there, yo, he goes to that spot, sees the the um, the exorcism. It was that shit was crazy. Uh, basically, yo, he gets a call from the from the dude, the producer who's uh, who's paying to put this show together. He's like, yo, we're not doing the show. We're not doing it. Cancel that shit. Fuck the show. Yeah, man. So they canceled it. So dude's pissed off. He's like, what the fuck, man? Like, we got some good footage. Whatever, whatever. Um, all of a sudden, you see the fucking producer calling this other motherfucker saying, yo, go kill the the, the cameraman and the fucking dude doing this this episode, Davey. Um, and then we're going to put a documentary together about them looking for this shit and them getting killed. You know what I mean? We're going to be paid. You know what I mean? It's a setup. Yo. That's fucked up. Yeah, dog. So this dude goes out trying to kill, um, trying to kill the cameraman. He gets pulled up in the, in the fucking, into a tree by this like crazy tree creature. And it like, you know what I'm saying? Like fucking just fucks his whole body up. Yo, he's bleeding out and shit. Um, Basically, yo, this the cameraman goes back to David's house because he's like, yo, where the fuck is this dude Ben? So he goes in and sees the dudes all possessed and shit. Dude goes at the cameraman. Cameraman swings a fucking uh, piece of wood on him and pales him. And basically, yo, you find out that the house is like in a wormhole and there's like multiple dimensions and multiple versions of each person in each dimension and they all end up in this fucking basement and yeah that's how it ends yo basically these dudes die and then the fucking you see the director put all oh, the fucking producer putting out this movie and all of a sudden the wormhole opens up and he's like oh shit whoa yeah what'd you like about it yeah i like that it was filmed in mass i like the music in the movie the story was mad original um Yo, the fucking gore was insane, yo. Some of my favorite parts was like when uh, in the fucking, um, what's it called? The exorcism. Yo, the exorcism, that shit was dope, yo. 
it, it fucking showed like her attack the priest, you know what I'm saying? And like bite his face off and blood's like pouring out in by the buckets and shit. And then like he takes a fucking like something and stabs her with it, you know what I mean? And they both die. Uh, but the last like 20 minutes of the movie was straight gore. It was fucking insanity. So fucking insane. I can't even put it into words. Um, I mean, there was a part where the cameraman was like stuck in a wall, and there was a part where like a, a fucking uh, another version of David crawls out of David's stomach. Fucking insane. The only thing I really didn't like about the movie is some of the camera footage. You know, the camera, like, uh, it just it just wasn't it wasn't top notch camera work. But out of a possible 3.5, this is getting a 3.3. Tied for the highest rating I've ever given on a film. This shit is fucking crazy. I, for me, it came like out of left field. And they came through with it. And uh, yo, I'm mad happy he did. If you haven't seen this shit, you're sleeping, yo. Yeah. That was Cryptic Plasm by Brian Pollen. Yeah. For, uh, or he calls himself Morbid Vision Films. Word, word. But yeah, it's cool that uh, people are making stuff with such high level of effects and like looking that cool yeah right now backyard in mass even mm -hmm. anywhere yeah for yeah. people to be doing that stuff with like low ass budgets yeah. and being more creative than whatever hollywood's pooping out yeah chucky 12 <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it's cool that uh that some dude and his friends just put that together and that's the way it is and i guess uh he's got like an extensive filmography too so it'd be cool to dip more into that and check out what else he's done we shall yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I said, that was Cryptic Plasm. I think you could probably get a copy from him on the Facebook.com. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a week. Hush. Goodbye. This world you're showing me, I really don't like it.